You know, it's a sad day for us LG fans. After I finally get my hands on the V60, which is what I'm recording this video with, they announced they're out the game. So what does this mean for us LG fans, huh? Or people who prefer the non-popular versions of Android, like Samsung, Pixel. I mean, that's made by Google, but you know what I, you know what I mean. Hopefully we get one more year of updates before they just nix it all. And the V60 is great. I thought I was going to hate not having a 2K screen. and Nah, it was, it was fine. Especially when it's outside the case. The battery does last all. It will last a full day. I mean, buy it brand new. I can't speak if you buy it second hand, but this one was brand new. It lasts all day. And it lasts... <clears throat> Almost a full day using the dual screen uh, continuously, as in I never took it out of the case, as you can see. It's in it now, and it's actually powered up as I'm recording this. But yep, I just saw the alert. Um, I doubt LG put out like a press statement or something. I mean, they have you even seen any commercials for the V60? Did you even know it existed? Do you even know what an LG is? Stands for life's good, but uh, anywho, I'm not gonna make this a very long and dramatic video. It is what it is. I held on to the V30 for almost came out. I got it in 2017 of October. That actually, I got it at launch. So I've had it for more than three years. I've had it for four. Uh, well, four coming this October, I should say. Either way, four years. And hopefully the V60 will last that long too. Uh, at the moment, just taking a walk through a, a park I've never been to. Uh, just to burn off some of the breakfast. But before I go back to my little zen moment, um, yeah, it, it sucks. It's like, it, it, I was already in the film. But I got into mobile video with the V30. More so the V20. I keep forgetting about that one. I shouldn't because it had the little IR blaster and I used to use that to like prank TVs and all that stuff. But yeah, man, it sucks, but it is what it is, you know? So if you can, don't buy any V60s. I'm gonna need some spares because I'm rough on phones. I take them out into conditions like this. With no screen protector. I know, I know, I know. Stupid move. But I just like touching the screen. Like, it's having that extra layer on there. Especially when I get my, um, the Wacom, Wacom, whatever. The stylus it has support for this. So I got to get that and get the drivers and everything for it goes ghost. Um, by the way, still got the V30. And while I'm at it, before I do conclude this, and this will be the last part, I promise. Um, I had one to do a review, not really a phone review, but a review of the video capabilities of smartphones these days with the new Snapdragons and the Bionics and all that stuff. Not a technical, just a creative video of how Android still holds on to the pause feature while you're recording video. Apple don't do that. iOS does not do that. Moment, the app that I use with the lenses, does not do that. I don't even... I never used it, so I can't confirm, but I think Filmic Pro wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put it past them. And then the um, DJI Osmo 3, the, um, the the Mimo, Momo, whatever that app is called, um, to control the, the handheld gimbal. Doesn't even allow pausing, but Androids do, more so LG for sure. Um, I think Samsung does. Actually, yeah, they do. I did it. I'm just remember now. I've got the footage coming back to me because I haven't edited it. And I, I don't even think I'm going to publish it because it's kind of a moot point. Um, but yeah, thanks, LG, for all the the little cinema stuff you were able to provide me, um, especially when shooting on remote locations where it's like my Sony at the time, I think it was an Alpha 6000 and an A... I think I borrowed someone's A7, A7S2. 
But that came in handy to get some B-roll because it was able to shoot 4K at 24 and high bit rate. So as soon as we popped out the SD card, um, I'm not going to say it was flawless in terms of quality because, again, it's, it's, a, it's a sensor on a cell phone. So, But it was it was almost negligible to the point where it's like, okay, if you hadn't have cropped in or maybe did some color correction or something that involved like grandiose movements like this I just realized that I'm bouncing left and right oh wow you can see the camera move in front I don't even remember them talking about this in reviews from Juan Juan if you watching this video man how come you didn't tell me the front facing camera has like a little like gimbal built in like you can see the lens it moves very subtly very very subtly but it's there alright I'm gonna stop panning because I'm probably getting some of y'all motion sick um, but yeah, it came in handy, and if I can find a V20, I'll buy another one. It's probably dirt cheap, like 50 bucks, at best 100. Yeah, probably at best 100. But anyways, I'm gonna finish my walk. Um, that's it. If you wanted to see, um, what the V20 was like, what it was, find it on my channel somewhere. It's there. So, all right. Peace.